the purpose of jujitsu. The original purpose of jujitsu was to practice a method of combat. While combat may have been at the core of jujitsu practice, it also had the related goals of physical education and mental training. There is little dispute that because training to fight involves moving the body in various ways, jujitsu indirectly became a form of physical education, but for the same reason, it also became a method for training the mind. All forms of combat require ingenuity and the use of various tricks and devices. So all forms of combat, all forms of combat require ingenuity and the use of various tricks and devices. So in the course of jujitsu training, the mind is unconsciously trained in many ways. Courage, composure, composure, and other traits that are beneficial in life can also be developed. Now, I'll tell you what, this is important. Because people ask me a lot, like, uh, you know, how'd you figure all this stuff out, Jocko? Like, people ask me that. Mm. But I'll tell you, it, I, I, jiu-jitsu opened my mind up and did these things. And again, unconsciously, like I started to perceive things the way that I was learning jiu-jitsu. Mm. You know, like it was a long course and I was in the military for a long time and I had an open mind and I listened and paid attention to the, the people that were leading me and I paid attention to the good ones and I paid attention to the bad ones. I, I, jiu-jitsu opened my mind up and did these things. And again, unconsciously, like if you get the bug and you start to think in a jiu-jitsu mindset, it, it'll really open up your mind. Now, that being said, there's some people that are heavily into jiu-jitsu, but they don't apply jiu-jitsu to the, the other aspects of their life, which is a big mistake. Mm-hmm. It's a big mistake. you got to apply it both ways. And, and I think my belief that with a few improvements, jiu-jitsu could become a comprehensive method of physical education, intellectual training, and moral education. I therefore spent several years developing my ideas and finally established the Kodokan Judo. I did this by thoroughly researching the jujitsu that had existed up until the t- up until that time as much as possible, keeping what I felt should be kept, discarding what I felt should be discarded, thoroughly studying the techniques and theories and establishing them in a way that would be most applicable to today's society. He's not even talking about just combat. He's talking about like he's not just talking about fighting. He's like talking about applying these things to society. 